kids have done something and your initial reaction was saying immediately no, no, or getting upset. What? Hysteria kicks in. Where did I see that behavior before? The definition of insanity is doing the exact same thing over and over again and expecting a different outcome. The one thing that we can do is remain aware of ourselves and to be open to making those changes along as we go. Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me again. I'm Lilac and I upload weekly, so if you're interested in more content, please make sure to subscribe below for all the future notifications. Today I'd like to talk about identifying default parental patterns. How do we know when a certain parental trait that we carry with our children is not actually a conscious choice we make, but a default that we sort of resort to in the moment, almost on auto mode? But then again, why do we need to identify those default parental behaviors that we may have? Because some of them might not be the most constructive ones and may not be the way we actually want to parent. And half the work to get ourselves to be able to change those patterns is to first be able to acknowledge them so that when they happen, we can observe them and choose to act differently. The easiest way to identify default parental patterns carried on from previous generations is to reassess our handling of a situation or a response and ask ourselves whether we would have acted or reacted in the same way if the situation did not involve our children. For example, in the workplace or within our circle of friends. Let's say the kids are fighting and one of them gets hurt. It's almost instinctive for some of us to rush over there, raise our voice and ask, what happened? What did you do? And what did you do? What'd you do that for? How could you have let this happen? And so on. Basically, hysteria kicks in. If we reimagine and reevaluate our reaction in a different scenario not involving our kids, the likelihood is we wouldn't speak the same way. Okay, if there was a fight in the factory and one of the workers got hurt, or if one of our friends had a bit too much to drink and went into full throttle, it is likely that we would have chosen a more rational way to respond and handle things and ourselves a little bit better. So once we realize that, then we can start thinking, okay, where does that behavioral pattern come from when it comes to dealing with our kids? Where did I see that behavior before? Now, normally these patterns are being learned subconsciously from the way our parents used to handle us when we were kids. And that information is so old and stored so far deep in our subconsciousness that some of it we may not even remember. Now, another great way to identify those unaware parental behaviors is by comparing our reaction to the reaction of our partner. For example, if the kids have done something and your initial reaction was either saying immediately no, no, or getting upset, what? Yet your partner seems to not make such a big deal out of the whole thing and is more open to it. It's sometimes good to take a step back from the situation and revisit it later on and try to figure out why was my reaction so immediate, so strict to one end? Is that really because of how strongly I feel about it? Or is it possible that perhaps my parents may have had a strict opinion about it, raising me and my siblings? And yet, when I really think about it more objectively, it doesn't actually bother me that much. The third way to identify unaware parental patterns is by observing our children's reactions. For example, if there seems to be a repetitive behavioral occurrence in the house, meaning a disturbing type of reaction from the kids that seems to repeat itself, it is really good to try and analyze why is the child reacting in the same annoying way each and every single time? Is it potentially a reaction that they've adapted to a parental pattern that we are using unknowingly that is not constructive to our relationship with them? You know how they say that the definition of insanity is doing the exact same thing over and over again and expecting a different outcome? Well, maybe there is something in my reactional pattern to the children that I can change that will in turn change the way my child reacts to me in those situations. It's really important to remember that while we are one parent within ourselves, we can have completely different parental relationships with every single one of our children. And it is definitely possible that they will each need and require different things from us. The one thing that we can do is remain aware of ourselves and of our children's need and to be open to making those changes along as we go. 
So at the end of the day, parenting is never easy. It's always challenging and we can only do our best. But 50% of the work of making changes is actually being able to identify the problem and become aware of it. So these were my three tips for today of how to identify your default parental behaviors. And I hope you'll find them helpful. If you have any comments you'd like to make or share a little bit of your experiences at home, or if you have any questions about anything that I talked about today, just feel free to leave them in the comments below as usual. I do my very best to respond to every single one of them. Please remember to like the video if you enjoyed the content. And of course, if you would like more content, feel free to subscribe below to the channel for more upcoming videos. In the meantime, keep safe.